Hey, I'm C Dinky. All right, people, we have got some big news today. I just woke up, went on my PC, and realized Grounded has finally got a patch and an update. It has been just over a month and a bit since we got the last patch. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what we have got new in store for us. And I'm not going to lie, just before we get into things, I am quite disappointed about this update. Not to be a negative person to Grounded, but this update is very poor. So let's go ahead and start off with the good things. And the only really good two things that got changed in this update, you can now go ahead and sort the trinkets in your inventory without having them to stack. Previously, if you had like two cones and you chucked them in a hotbar, it would randomly pick which one it would choose. But now you can go ahead and actually pick which trinket you would like to have on your hot pouch, which is extremely useful. And I do not know why it took them this long to add it. Like, this is insane. This would have made my life and everyone else's life so much easier in New Game Plus. But thankfully, it's here now, I guess. And they have finally fixed the bug, or maybe the players just bully the devs into saying, let's change it. But they've now changed it that whenever you perfect parry the Hedge Brumella Scream, you do not get the random modifiers and also the reduced damage. Thank goodness. Now that this boss fight can be easy and you can't get punished for perfect blocking the attack. Because before in the previous update, it didn't really make sense. You perfect block the attack, yet you still get the debuff. So it's a pretty good change. That now when you perfect parry the hedge brimola scream you do not get the random modifiers that it says in the patch notes but it really means the damage reduced which i like they've also changed how the mantis comes down when you summon her in but in this clip here she still like just moves like a solid object they don't make it smooth when the patch note says it, does, it makes it smooth but i'm showing the mantis boss fight because why do i still even though i perfect parried this attack i still get the random modifier and the bleed and i get one shot by this mantis this doesn't make sense devs they did change the mantis so that every perfect power you do doesn't apply debuffs on you but for some reason that one singular attack always applies the modifiers and debuffs if you do not block without a shield and i just don't know why they haven't changed it yet maybe it's just gone over the radar for the devs but like come on man they've also gone ahead and done a lot of optimizations for xbox playstation 5 and nintendo switch pretty much just makes the game smoother like you let crash less you get more fps on playstation and nintendo switch it reduces frame drops, but Nintendo Switch is struggling already. They've also changed that the pet ants or pet weevils or aphids that you have don't knock you around anymore. So like I remember in my base when I was playing New Game Plus for the first time, my pet ant kept knocking me around my base, which was quite annoying. So that's been fixed now, which I do like. And also pet ants no longer fall through the world when they teleport near you. And that there is pretty much everything major that got changed in this update. So let's go over to the other miscellaneous bug fixes that this update has to offer. The report card and milk molar burgle quest will now properly account for the different amount of milk molars when in the yard in New Game Plus. So pretty much that means I think 100% is now achievable instead of the report card saying collect more milk molars when you've gotten all of them in New Game Plus. Water fleas and diving bell spiders no longer ignore you when you have the ant bastard mutation. This was in a myth busting video of powers, but now I guess that myth is now busted. And hordes have less food and ant hills. I thought this was pretty nice. Um, I didn't have an issue with the the the, the amount of food in the ant hills was just really nice. I must say. Baby ants no longer eat food in your base. I never realized that anyway. Clients can now unlock the royal arrangements and did I do that achievement? So that is the befriending the ant queen and I think poisoning the ant queen. You can now get that in New Game Plus, which I don't know why that wasn't in the game when the update first dropped. A bunch of miscellaneous things about playgrounds, which I know like 99% of you really don't care about. So I won't go into too much detail about those. They've gone ahead and finally changed the spicy damage up best because in the previous patch, spicy damage major had two effects. It could have either been spicy damage best or major. Now it has been changed and it will be fixed accordingly. So if you have a spicy damage up major, make sure to check it because you might have spicy damage up best. And that there is the entire update in a nutshell. We waited a month and a bit to get some text changes and a bug fix from the hedge broodmiller. I'm not going to lie, I'm a bit disappointed that it took a month and we get like little to nothing. Unless they might be doing another patch in like the coming weeks, like maybe next week or the week after we might be getting another balance patch because there is still a massive elephant in the room. So I've gone ahead and I've talked to Travis Gaming and also I've watched the new Jade's video on this patch and Travis thinks that this patch here is going to lead up into a bigger patch so like a maybe a balance patch that is going to fix a lot of things maybe in like the next week or two so fingers crossed travis is right about that one and if he's not i'll be knocking on his door and i'll be giving him what for i've also gone ahead and i've watched jade's video and he pretty much says it perfectly no matter how many milk mole upgrades we have to increase our hp to increase our healing to increase our stamina and whatnot and no matter how skilled you are in this game 
you are going to die 99% of the time to the New Game Plus infused creatures. Now, I know there's one person in Paralysis Discord who's in like New Game Plus 21. I have no idea what he's doing, but that person's literally grinded the living hell out of weapons and trinkets just to survive in that high New Game Plus. But I'm here in New Game 10, and even though I'm still a skilled player, I still find it extremely difficult to take out some bosses. Now, how can we fix this? Let's not fix it by getting the high defense trinket because that is just a grind within itself. Make it, give us a brand new mutation we can unlock in Burgle Shop or a new Burgle Chip that has this mutation that allows us to take reduced damage and deal extra damage to infused creatures. That is pretty much the defense trinket, but as a mutation slot, that'd be a lot easier to farm for than just getting a damaged or re reduced defense up trinket. Or even make it that the modifiers and the damages the bosses deal are slashed in half. The boss's damage itself doesn't do that much in new, high new game plus, the new game plus itself. It is the modifier that deal a massive pack of damage. The sour attack is extremely strong. The spicy attack can be powered now, but that's still strong. The venom on hit, the infused venom is extremely strong. The modifiers on the infused creatures are just super strong, and I think they do need to get nerfed a little bit. And now recently, I was shown a video from Idea Green, who was a granted content creator, showing me that pretty much the explosive resist on the New Game Plus trinkets literally do nothing to resist explosive damage to your character. Now, I've only tested this with the cones, so possibly it could be different with the waffles and crinkles, but I don't think so. So basically, I got hit once with an explosive resist trinket, and then another time without the trinket, and the damage is the exact same. And I tried this again in the recent patch, and this still hasn't been changed at all. So I don't know what's happening here. And that's pretty much the entire patch notes. I Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I'm a little bit disappointed with this update, as I did say prior in the very beginning of this video. But if you guys did enjoy today's video, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and even a comment down below of your feelings of this grounded patch. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.